Y'all don't even know how excited I am. I'm just a little bit confused. <laughs> so I got these um, magnetic hooks and I mean, it's not a big deal. It came with these small ones, but there's only enough magnets to put like, you either have to do all the big or all the small. So basically I have some small hooks that I can just hold on to for something else. I don't know. But these little shelves that I got on Amazon are the bomb. Let me tell you, they are so strong. Um, and I always have a hard time with like enough um, shelf space. This classroom actually has a lot more than my last, but I think this is gonna be good to hold um, like a cup of markers and not have them have to topple over or like dry erase board cleaner and who knows what else. There's an assortment of things I could put in there, but that was a very good Amazon buy. Okay, some more Dollar Tree goodies that I am remembering that I bought. So I got a couple packs of these and I was thinking of putting dice in there um, so they don't roll away. They can shake up the dice. I got, uh oh, something is sticky. Oh no. Okay, I got a couple of these books. These, I was pretty impressed at the quality. 50 things you really need to know and it's different ones like ocean monsters, yucky stuff, big beasts, flying machines. Those are in the dollar store. Can't believe that. But uh, my students have always thought these kind of books were really fun to read. These are the frames I got for those prints that I um, had done. So these are the four by six. They're a really pretty glitter. And then um, this was a five by seven, but I thought this would coordinate really nicely. This, I mean, come on. Like I had to have that. No, I didn't, but I bought it anyway. It was only a dollar. Um, so for back to school night, as a little gift for the kiddos, I got some um, bracelet, little light up things. And then this apparently is peeling off. So last night, um, my husband met us here and all we did really was move furniture around. Um, luckily he was very helpful with that. This is the first classroom I've ever been in where the cabinets have been totally empty, not a thing, like barely any paper trail left behind, which is kind of nice because I don't have to sort through a thousand piles of, of stuff. Um, so I'm literally starting from scratch. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with just sorting through what we have and moving things around. Okay, this is the part in classroom setup where, you know, most teachers I feel like get really overwhelmed and stressed because this is like cluttered. All of this stuff, all of this stuff, like everything is everywhere. And my advice is to just pick one area of your classroom, focus on that one, and then finish it and move on to the next one. So I'm gonna, work a little bit over here. I need to put my teacher toolbox together. I might not do it at this second, but I'm gonna kind of figure out where to put all of this and how I wanna organize my cabinets.
it doesn't look like maybe a lot has been done, but it has been. Um, I went ahead and put everything in my toolbox. I had no idea this thing came assembled already. I was under the impression I was going to have to put it together, but all the pieces were together right out of the box, which was cool. So I went through and I tested out all of my highlighters, my pins, my markers, the ones that were dead. I just went ahead and threw out. I still need to make labels for those. This stuff, um, I don't know what I'm going to use these for yet. Maybe learning targets, maybe small group, not sure. This is a Scentsy, um, one of those air things, and I used it in my last room. Loved it. This thing gets all the smells out, highly recommended. Um, this doorbell I bought a couple years ago and I never used it. So I'm excited to try this this year. Popsicle sticks, I'm gonna paint somehow, do a little craft with this, not today, but later. Whenever I have a candle from Bath and Body Works and it, um, it's done with, I clean out the jar and I use these at home all the time. I even put like Q-tips and cotton balls in the bigger ones and I have those in my guest bathroom. And then this is my little lamp for my desk. Just gotta plug her in. I decided to go ahead and start on the smaller bulletin board first, but clearly I did not cut the paper long enough and I quickly realized that. Um, but I just hate to be wasteful and I felt guilty about balling it up and throwing it away. So I decided to go ahead and use this paper that I already cut to cover the longer bulletin board. And yes, there are going to be seams that go down the middle, but I decide that I can go ahead and separate this long bulletin board into different sections and just cover those seams with some border. Let me explain my thought process behind this and y'all let me know in the comments what you think. Um, so my cubbies had to go here just for lack of another place to put them. So I thought I could make this look like a, like intentional long skinny bulletin board. And I think I'm going to cover it with like, I don't know, cute little posters of like positive words of affirmation and things like that. This is probably going to be like a bulletin board maybe with like lunch menu. I don't know. So, I'm not sure. I, I do like this. I am not crazy about this. And I think it's because it's so busy and it's like <laughs> overwhelming. I think with like the pink background and then all these flamingo heads everywhere, it's just too much. This I think is fine because it's like a lot wider of a space, but this is so narrow that it's like freaking me out. So I think I'm going to take this off, just the border, and get some black border from Hobby Lobby, put it here, and then take that same black border and put it on the inside right here.
back. I did find this at Hobby Lobby. It's kind of pricey. It's like $4 for solid black, but I do not want to drive all the way to a teacher supply store. Um, but yeah, this was the brand um, from Hobby Lobby. So it'll work. It wasn't exactly what I wanted to spend, but I did get to use a coupon. Actually, no, I didn't. Did y'all know that um, Hobby Lobby doesn't let you use a coupon in store anymore? I had no idea. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, I also sorted through my library books. Y'all, I've been collecting books all summer. You know, if you hadn't already known before, I've mainly taught math and science, but this year I'll be teaching um, all subjects. And I've been trying to collect books from like Goodwill and Salvation Army. And I felt like I had a really good stock of books and I went and put them on the shelf. <laughs> it feels like I have nothing. It looks pretty scrimpy. Baskets look so empty. So uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to come up with a different solution, but let me show you what it looks like. It just looks so pitiful. I mean, some of these books even came from home. They were um, books that my daughters don't read anymore, but like quality books that a third grader could use. But yeah, this isn't gonna work. I need, I need to read. We figured this out. Alright y'all, that is going to conclude day one and two of my classroom setup. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel out. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe by hitting the button down below. I will be um, posting another video very, very soon. Y'all stay safe and I'll see you later. Bye!